Hey guys, hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Shitij aka The Rustic Wanderer. Today's video is another indoor cooking video where I'll be sharing the recipe for minced cauliflower or kima gobi as I like to call it. So let's get started. Kima gobi is one of my favorite recipes, not only because it is very quick and easy to make, uh, because it essentially relies on just three ingredients. You need cauliflower, tomatoes, onion, a couple of chili, green chili, um, and the regular spices that we use for Indian cooking. And it's uh, ready to go. It's, it's very easy to make. But the other reason why I really love this is because it's dry, which means uh, bringing it with you in a tiffin or making a wrap or a roll out of this, just like you have kebab rolls, um, it's very easy and convenient, so you can even bring it outside uh, for a picnic or you could take it with you for for school, for example, or for any other event, outdoor event, where you think you would want to snack onto something and you want to bring something with you. So other than bringing sandwiches, this was one of my favorite things that I used to bring even when I was a kid. Um, it was in the schools that I used to go to. There used to be canteens, but uh, I preferred to bring my own food in my tiffin. Um, it's just the way I grew up. So this was one of the things that I, I love bringing with me. It uh, saves a lot of time and it is quite delicious. So uh, as I said, the ingredients, there are three basic ingredients that you need. Uh, there are onions, tomatoes, um, cauliflower. Cauliflower, you can either get the fresh one with its stem intact and you can peel off the stem, wash it and break down into smaller flowers. Uh, the reason for breaking it down a bit is uh, to make it easy to stir in the pan. Uh, out here in Finland, sometimes they run out of the regular cauliflower here in the local supermarket, but you always, uh, almost always get it in the frozen section. So the good thing about this is uh, you get like frozen cauliflower, frozen broccoli, even in the uh, Finnish supermarket, or in my case, it was a little next door. Um, so I didn't have to go to an Indian supermarket to fetch these groceries. So uh, let's see what we have and, and let's uh, chop and prepare these for, for cooking. And then let's start cooking the kima gobi or the minced cauliflower. So here I've taken frozen already prepared cauliflower, which means all the stem has been taken off and the flour are ready to use. Um, the chopped onions already peeled and, and ready to stir fry. A uh, couple of green chili, I've taken three to four of them depending on how spicy you want to make them. And I've taken four tomatoes. So let's uh, chop up the tomatoes. Alright, so chopping part is done. The onions are prepared, green chili, tomatoes, everything is all set. So let's start by stir frying the onions and the green chili, then throwing in the masala, then the tomatoes and then the cauliflower finally to make the minced cauliflower recipe for today. So our onions are done, uh, we have been cooking them in again 1-2 to two tablespoon of vegetable oil, cumin seeds, mustard seeds, hing and the onion and green chili in there. So as they are all done now it's time to throw in the spices and for today we are only going to stick with the essential spices. So let's put them in. 1-1.5 one one spoons of salt again depending on how salty you like your food. Then a good handful serving of uh, turmeric powder, again one, one and a half spoons. Then a dash of red chili powder, coriander powder, two spoons. So our masala is ready, the spices have been cooking for a while. And now it's time to throw in the tomatoes, add a little bit of water for the moisture and then add cauliflower in batches so that we can stir them. And remember, since it's a dry veg, you don't want to add too much water. So let's do that. The 
So we've added the tomatoes, the cauliflower, all the masala is ready and we have added a dash of water as well to give it the moisture. I've reduced the heat to medium low and I let it cook for a bit as, as long as it takes for the cauliflower to start dissolving so that you could then mash it up and that's how you start getting the keema texture for it. So let it cook. So it is starting to take some shape and the tomatoes have left their water so we'll cook it as the water dries up and if you have a potato masher you could use that to start mincing the cauliflower as it cooks if not you could just use the ladle and hit down hard on the cauliflower and as it starts to get cooked it will be becoming very soft and you can easily start mashing it So after cooking for about 35 to 40 minutes uh, on a medium high flame and stirring continuously the minced gobi, minced cauliflower is now ready or kima gobi as I like to call it. As you can see most of the water has reduced. We let it sit on the stove for a bit so the rest of the water will also evaporate and I have mashed most of the gobi already so it's now ready to eat. So when it comes to enjoying this uh, kima gobi or minced cauliflower um, there are two essentials that you would need one is uh, this taste maker uh, or pickle which in india we call it as a char so normally in india there are three kinds of pickles they could be either pickled in oil in vinegar or in brine which is a salty water solution different people like different kind of flavors and we pickle a lot of different vegetables and fruits uh, my favorite is uh, the mango pickle and at the moment I have this mango pickle uh, which is oil based so I'm gonna use that to help me with enhancing the flavors uh, on the side and the other important thing that we would need it's the bread or rice something to pair it with and typically in India we would eat it with a variety of breads for example it could be the actual bread loaf so you could take pieces of that uh, you could have the roti, which is the round flat bread that Indians eat at home made from wheat flour. It could be the paratha, which is a triangular flat bread typically, or sometimes some people make it even as a square. Um, in layman terms, it's, uh, it's when you're making the roti and you add a little bit of oil uh, when you're baking it on the pan. Um, but in here, I found this, uh, this bread from a local supermarket is the Ora rice cup, uh, which uh, as far as I understood is the barley bread which is very common to find in northern Finland and I, I really like the flavor of this one so I am going to pair it with this barley bread for today um, in terms of plating the dish you could either have it as the dry veg the pickle and the roti on the side which is the way I'm going to eat it or you could even have it as a sort of a roll or a wrap so you can roll it and then wrap it in an aluminium foil and eat it like a typical kebab roll that you would and that's how i would like to take it if i'm going out on a picnic or just sitting in a park and and just want to eat some homemade snacks for example for those of you who really like uh, rice and would like to eat this with rice you would find that it's a bit dry. Indian, uh, Indians like to eat rice with some sort of curry base because it then the curry is gets absorbed in the rice and then it tastes really good together when you mix it up. Um, this is inherently a bit dry because that's the whole point of this, uh, this dish. But if you still want to eat it with rice, I have previously experimented with uh, pairing it with yogurt. And I try to avoid the normal yogurt because that waters down everything. I'd rather go for Greek or Turkish yogurt and then you can eat it together with rice. Uh, brown rice preferably if you can find it. If not, you can even go with white rice. And, and that's how I love to enjoy this dish. So do give it a shot and let me know how it turns out for you. Comment down below if you'd like to see more recipes like this or if you have any special requests or recipes that I, I should cover in the next videos. Until then, this is Rustic Wonder signing off. Keep cooking, keep enjoying life at home, stay safe, take care.